CCTV is one very visible way of protecting your property. But there are many things that will deter criminals. I think for homeowners, just having an idea of what would put you off breaking into somebody's house and, and thinking of the range of strategies that you can use to signal to somebody that this place is protected and if you were to break in, you will be seen and you will be caught. House burglaries are falling and being able to link stolen goods with specific owners is an added deterrent. One product that's specially designed to do just that is being manufactured here in this forensic science lab. Selector DNA is a liquid that can be painted onto items. It contains a unique forensic code, so if the item's stolen and then recovered, it can be traced back to its original owner. James Brown is the MD of Selector Mark Security Systems, the company that's created this product. Selector Mark was formed in 1985 by my father. He was approached by a chemist and an engineer who had developed a way to permanently and visibly mark assets. And that could be anything from a vehicle window all the way down to marking bicycles or IT equipment to prove ownership. And that's really how the business started, was marking assets to deter theft. In the early days, they used visible markers. But with items such as mobile phones becoming ever smaller, there was a growing demand for a product that was invisible to the naked eye. We looked into different types of technology which we could use to mark property in a more discreet way. So we explored the possibilities of using synthetic DNA as a marker, actually use synthetically manufactured DNA. This product can be used to mark any item large or small, from mobile phones to railway cables. We work with the likes of Network Rail to mark copper cable on the railways. In a similar fashion, we work with insurance companies in the UK to protect lead and copper on church buildings. So really, it's anything that is vulnerable to theft that we can mark and, and protect. Once items are marked, they go onto a database and if they're stolen and later recovered, they can be traced back to the original owner. Once an item of, of property or an asset is marked, the customer would then register that unique code on our Secure Asset Register database. In the event of an item being stolen, that item can then be flagged as stolen in the database. Each unique forensic code is contained in tiny microdots, visible only when magnified. So the solution contains the UV tracer in it to allow the police to identify where the mark is. And then the first means of identification are the tiny little black dots that you can see on the card here, which the police can read via a microscope. Once they find one of the dots, they can look at the information through the microdot, take an image of it, and then read the unique code and the database address so that the police can input that information into the database to find out who the owner of that property is. As part of a crime reduction scheme in Manchester, police distributed forensic property marking kits to a thousand homes. Each home was given selected DNA kits. The kits were explained to the homeowners. Signage was put up in the windows of homes that were using the product, and they put up street signage to say that selected DNA was in use in, in that area. The impact was dramatic, not only in cutting crime, but in bringing the community closer together. Over a 12-month period, burglaries reduced by 85% which I think was beyond the expectations of the police. And not only did it reduce crime, but it also helped reduce the fear of crime amongst the community. So the, the residents of those homes felt a lot safer as a result of it. 